Hey guys. Well, it's been about 16 years now since I've been saved. And I think it's incredible that I'm celebrating 16 years with the Lord during the week of Easter. I think back at this time and the Lord has really worked in my life. He has pruned me and He has built me up in the faith. He has shown me a lot in these last 16 years. And I have grown to love Him every day, more and more. And hopefully, I will love Him even more tomorrow than I do today. You know, when I look back and I think back at uh, 2,000 years ago, and what happened on that night in Gethsemane, how he was betrayed by Judas Iscariot, and then they spat on him, ripped out his beard, put a crown of thorns on his head, scourged him, nailed his hands and feet to a cross, and then rammed a spear in his side, all for me, for sinful and wretched me. And then he died. But three days later, God the Father raised him from the dead. And he's now sitting at the right hand of God, making intercession for me and for all those who know him. When I meditate on that and I think about that, it just blows my mind that the sinless Son of God would come to this earth and become a man and live among us and then die on a tree for sinners. The wonder of the cross, the wonder of God's love for sinners. You know, I just, uh, I just got off work and I was able to give the gospel to a gentleman who had never heard it before, a gentleman that I work with. And um, it was incredible to see him listen and to hear as I spoke to him about his sinfulness and spoke to him about the forgiveness of sins found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, he didn't come to faith then, but I just pray that in the coming days I'll be able to speak to him even more. And that's what it's all about, folks. We get saved, and then the Lord sends us out to be his ambassadors, to give the gospel to those people who are lost and on their way to hell. And I just pray that if the Lord gives me 16 more years, that I will be even more vigilant in my duties in giving out the gospel to lost and dying men. Sixteen years. Sixteen years knowing the Lord. Sixteen years walking with Him and talking with Him. Getting to know my Savior, my Creator, my Redeemer. I just pray that this Easter we would all meditate on the cross. Meditate on what our Lord Jesus Christ did for us but we would also praise God for His resurrection to realize that He is risen. He is risen indeed. He is not in the grave. We do not serve a dead Savior. We serve a living Savior who is at the right hand of God right now making intercession for those of us who know Him. Praise God for the resurrection. No resurrection, no Christianity, and our faith is in vain. It's a dead faith. But our Lord Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And so this Easter, let us praise Him. Let us glorify Him. Let us magnify His name. Let us go into the world and tell men about what He did on the cross for them. Tell them to be reconciled to God. I love the Lord Jesus Christ because he first loved me. God bless.